upcoming rides in 2024 and what I think is going to be the best uh, gathering of motorcycle enthusiasts in 2024. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean and this is UCM Pigs and yeah, it's not a motor vlog. Uh, yeah, I know I did the intro on the bike. It was a beautiful day and I actually recorded this video on the bike, but it's just too windy. So that's not what this is about. But before we get started, let me remind you to like, comment and subscribe. And as always on my channel, if you don't feel like typing words, just leave me an emoji. Let me know you're here. I greatly appreciate it. So as I mentioned, um, I'm going to tell you guys what I think is going to be the biggest motorcycle event, gathering of motorcycle enthusiasts of 2024. Now, every year there's a lot of motorcycle events. And if you're like me um, and you still work and you're on a budget, you probably spend the winter planning what you're going to do during your riding se season. Now, I use that term loosely. I ride year round. Just don't take long road trips in the winter time. But anyway, um, I look at the year and I, I look at what's going on and I decide what am I going to do this year uh, for a motorcycle trip. Now, there are a lot of static events uh, throughout the year. Of course, everybody's heard of the big rallies, you know, Sturgis, Daytona, Laconia, uh, all the big rallies throughout the country. Um, then you have little moto meetups all over the place. Uh, there's some that have been running for a couple years. There's going to be some new ones and so forth and so on. But every once in a while, there's an event and it's kind of a once in a lifetime event. And what do I mean by that? This past year in 2023, you know, Adam Sandoval did his, you know, ride for veterans across the U.S. hitting the 120 Harley dealerships, kind of to coincide with Harley's 120th anniversary, which was another big event. So this year there's another big event and that's what I'm going to talk about. Now, this is something that I normally don't do. I don't do a lot of endorsing of channels and I do shout outs, you know, mail calls and things like that. And people I've met if I ride with them and stuff like that, but I'm not one to try to ride on someone's coattails. So the purpose of this video is not to ride on coattails. Um, I'm not a fanboy. I don't kiss the ring. I'm just here having a good time. And when something, something catches my eye, I definitely want to talk about it. And I'm pretty excited about this event. So what I'm talking about is the 2024 baggers and brews, uh, poker run for veterans this summer. It's going to be on July 13th. Um, all proceeds are going to an organization called Tunnels to Towers, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Now, the cool thing about this event, um, they kicked it off, I think in January, De December, they started talking about it, but I think the big kickoff was this month. And this fundraiser is going to run the entire year of 2024. And their goal is to raise $50,000 for Tunnels to Towers this event being one of the things. They're gonna have raffles, other things going on, but I'm very excited about this event, and I'm gonna tell you why. Back in December of 2021, um, an old friend of mine lost his life, and it was a training accident. Um, I'm not gonna drop any names or anything like that. Uh, if you're that interested, it wouldn't be that hard to find out. But uh, long story short, um, he was a father of four, um, in his 40s and just a great guy and our families you know for many years we were neighbors and we never served together but we were neighbors my youngest son and his oldest son kind of grew up together so you know played and stuff like that a lot of beer drank but uh um he lost his life in 2021 and with everything else going on along with that if you could only imagine losing your spouse losing the uh, uh, not only the person that you is your soulmate and the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, but the person that you've built a family with um, is gone. Um, one day they're there and that afternoon they're gone. Um, Tunnels of Towers came in and paid off their mortgage and that was one less thing that they had to worry about. And when I heard about this, uh, I give to charity throughout the year and I immediately went over and signed up and I give a monthly contribution to Tunnels to Towers. I've been doing it since 2021. So when I heard Bert and George were doing this, I got really excited about it because this is a charity that I really have seen what they can do. So I definitely, that made my mind up for me. 
I'm going to that event. Um, I'm going to support this because this is a cause, this is a charity that I can really get behind, helping veterans, helping first responders, and more importantly, helping their family when they're no longer there to help. So if you're looking at things to do this summer, I would encourage you to go check out Baggers and Brews, check out some of their videos, check out some of their posts on IG, um, their community board on YouTube, their Facebook, and see what's going on with this event. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. This is a fantastic organization. And as I was mentioning when I first started this, you know, those other static events, they're going to be there next year. Um, you're going to be able to go to Sturgis. Um, you're going to be able to go to Day Daytona. Um, moto meetups, I know you may feel like you have an obligation, but you know, everybody wants to get behind and support the troops and support those that protect us. Uh, this is a fantastic cause. And no matter how you feel about this channel or other channels that might be going, not that they're controversial, they're great guys. I've had the pleasure of meeting both George and Bert on two occasions and really down to earth guys, uh, Americans. Um, go support it. There, there's, that's what this community is about, is putting things aside and even if you don't like their content, go support this cause. I mean, they have great content. I'm telling you, you wouldn't be disappointed. Go check it out. So I'll put some links in here. You guys should go check those out. But um, July 13th, it's going to be up there where they're from. It's just the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, uh, just it's near Philadelphia in that general area of Pennsylvania. You can get more information, you know, through their social media outlets. But I mean, if you're a content creator, what a great way to go capture a uh, a one-time event and share it and bring awareness to an organization that is helping our fallen heroes you know military and first responders I mean Sturgis will be there you can if you really want to post some Sturgis stuff just get some of that old b-roll post it up nobody will know the difference it all looks the same um, there are some other events going on that weekend and you know I'm not trying to take away from those um, Gettysburg is one of them and I've heard people have made mention well you know I go to Gettysburg every year it's kind of my thing and I get that that's so cool but you know what it's four hours I Google it it's like four hours from Go from Gettysburg to that area I mean you go to a rally to ride right I mean you're taking your bike there whether it be riding it or putting it your toy hauler do you just sit and look at it get up on Saturday morning shoot down to the Pine Barrens if you can't ride the whole poker run show up hang out and ride back. It's a rally ride. So that's it for this week. I just kind of want to just give a shout about this event. Um, you guys go check it out. Um, I'm not trying to ride their coattails. I'm not even letting them know I'm doing this video. They'll find out when it drops. I'm not asking for that. It's not about me. It's about this event. It's about this cause. So check out Tunnels to Towers. There'll be a link in the description to their Tunnels to Towers page, which goes through the organization and everybody is vetted. So it's up on the up and up. You can do a one-time donation. You can do a monthly reoccurring donation. If you can't go to the event, you just want to support, there's your way to support. Donate to the cause. Be part of it. Be part of something bigger. One last little plug. Uh, I've got my VD Express, the Valentine's Day Express, coming up on January 29th. If you're not familiar with it, here's a link. It's basically, you send me a Valentine, I take it with me out to Valentine's, Virginia. It gets postmarked from Valentine's, Virginia. Um, I ask people to put a dollar in, in there so I can buy their postage, and then anything that's left over, I donate to the post office. Well, this year it's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna keep that money, and I'm gonna send it to the Baggers and Brews Tunnels to Tower. So anything that I have left over from my VD Express is going straight to it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. And until we talk again, you guys be careful. You guys be safe. Always keep your shiny side up. And we'll talk to you next time.